People needing medical care from the NHS are urged not to be put off by the coronavirus pandemic as visits to A&E dropped by almost half. More virus tests will be offered today after online bookings were suspended in the face of overwhelming demand. Good morning. Plans are being drawn up for the return of the Premier League. The government tells us that it's working hard to get live sport back behind closed doors, but only where lockdown restrictions can be eased. The oldest person to reach number one, Captain Tom Moore's charity single with Michael Ball tops the chart. In terms of the number of people dying, figures released yesterday showed 768 more reported coronavirus deaths in the UK since the day before. It takes the total number to more than 19,500. It could well reach 20,000 today. And because that does not include deaths in care homes or the community, the real figure is likely to be much higher. Two of those to lose their lives are 37-year-old twin sisters, Katie and Emma Davis. Both had worked in nursing in Southampton. Both succumbed to the virus this week. They were angels on earth and now they're angels in heaven. Best friends. They were my best friends as well. They always said that they came in the world together so they'll go out together so that they, they've, that's what they've done. Sisters and soulmates, their lives dedicated to caring for others, now cut short. Time now is 11 minutes past six. We're going to bring you some sunshine this morning. There it is. That's the view outside Salford, outside our studios this morning. The sun is rising. Um, we'll get the weather a little later. 27 minutes past six. There are times when being up early in the morning and being able to see sights like that, and this probably this morning, we'll find out the weather a bit later on, as you say, but this may be replicated in quite a few places across the UK at the moment. It's a glorious moment. Absolutely lovely. It's a lot of pressure, and it's also on the front page of the Times. COVID secure offices to get Britain back to work. A Treasury blueprint will ease lockdown for staff. Um, and saying that trains will be almost full time again in three weeks. There's, there's lots to talk about. We're talking to Andy Burnham, actually. We're we'll talking to him about um, transport and changes as well in um, when it comes to certain transport services as well, trans, light rail as well. So he'll have some views as well on that. Um, this is something that Mike's been covering this morning. Um, and another, another thing that could come back, it, this is very... Um, speculative at the moment. The Sun is claiming it as an exclusive that there is a football plan for the Premier League um, f to be playing again. It would be behind closed doors, um, but it could be shown on television as well. Um, and all games on television will be on TV because the grounds, of course, will be staying shut. But Mike's going to have a lot more on that a little later on. Yes, and just looking on the, uh, the front page of the Daily Mail, we got that one there. Yeah. Uh -huh, the, yeah. So the Daily Mail. Um, choose 10 lockdown friends and family. Again, um, we will meet again with Minister's plans. You can see what they're saying here. We, we at the moment of the BBC are not in a position to say that this is part of any official government guidance. Um, but what, what clearly is happening is many of the newspapers are, if you like, jumping ahead of the curve and talking about what those plans might be. Mm. We will try and get some clarity on a couple of these stories for you. Um, Stephen Powers, Professor Stephen Powers from NHS England will be talking to us a little later on this morning. So um, we will try and get some clarity on just what is being said officially in relation to some of these issues. Yeah, there's been no confirmation of that.